The service will be done bilingually, most of it in English, of course, and there will be a little bit of Greek for that flavor, if I might say. Not an ethnic flavor, but for our religious flavor. Uh, many people are Greek speaking who are here this morning, but the service is not for those of us who are gathered in this room. It's also for the students, the families, those who support this institution, and as I said, for the future. I don't think we will bless everyone with the holy water because it's not really about people today and their blessing. It's about the blessing of the facilities and we need to remember that. We ask only that you be attentive, you be quiet, and that you pray. Does anyone have a question? I think I'm good for giving directions. <laughs> and if you don't behave, I will put you in line, trust me. <laughs> I just, I think from all of us to extend our gratitude to the St. Andrew's family, if I might use that expression. That way it's more inclusive to say thank you for the opportunity to share. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. And thank you, most importantly for me, and for the community, for the opportunity to pray so that our identity, not only as Orthodox Christians, but as people from the Genos, the Ethnos, whether from Cyprus, Greece, or other parts of the Hellenic world, uh, we see our values, our traditions, our culture, our religion continue into this land and into future generations. Because if you study Greek history, as you may know, you are a Hellen by education, not by language or by birth. It was education that made someone a Hellen. And we want to preserve those values, along with the values and traditions of every culture and every people, because we can all do good things in harmony and in unity. There may be unity, even though can, there can be diversity of expression, we need to find the true values and pass them on to the next generation. Even through our politicians and those who labor in government for the good of the world, for the Mediterranean Basin, and I thank you again for all of your efforts for peace. We're sort of friends. And we share many common values and hopes and dreams, especially for peace and other things but also common friends. So again, thank you all, and may God bless you and keep you well. I don't know what time we're starting. Are we almost ready? Yeah, we can go through that. Especially the students along with their families, those who support these undertakings, the trust, the donors, those who serve as sponsors and those who will come to learn here with them. To be all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. So, so Thank you. 
Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Good morning to all of you, and thank you for your love and your patience while we ask God to send down His grace upon us here today and upon this land. Some of us are from the Orthodox tradition, some of us are not, but we're still a community of people we're one family in this world. And some of us pray to Christ, some of us pray to another God, some of us don't pray to any God. But our intent is still the same, that we ask for goodness upon this land, for a school, a place of education. It is here that you students will learn not only to read and write, perhaps another language, to add, to subtract, but also to interact with other people from different cultures, different identities, different religions and faith. Because as I said, we're all one family. We as Orthodox Christians, especially our Archdiocese, next our, our congratulations, not only to the Headmaster and to those who will work with you, for the generosity of those who have supported this, that will support this institution to the members of our community.
chair of the Russell Education Trust, who is unwell this week and is desperately sad not to be here today, having had St Andrew the Apostle so close to her heart for over 10 years. However, as you can see, it hasn't prevented her sending me a script. Mm -hmm. It is a great honour for the school to have Your Eminence Archbishop Nikitas leading us in this ceremony today. We look forward to working together with the Greek Orthodox Church to further develop Christian education in this school and to cement the place of, the Greek, of Greek Orthodoxy in the wider and national community. Karen and I and everyone here owe a very special debt of gratitude to the school's first Chair of Governors, Yanis Piraeus. The founding of the first maintained Greek Orthodox school in Britain was his original vision, which he pursued with faith and determination until St Andrew eventually opened in 2013. He frequently told us, and his wife Marina, who's here today, that the prayers of San Raphael were a constant blessing on the school. Our loss of Yanni in the early days of COVID <coughs> was a terrible personal and professional blow. But today we can reflect with Marina, with his family, friends and colleagues, that he has left a precious legacy behind. For this, we honour him. This building and the achievements of our students will stand in his memory. Thank you. Your Eminence, Madam Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Philip Hills and I'm very, very fortunate, I know, to be the new headmaster at St Andrew. And it's such an auspicious day, such an important milestone that we've all reached together now. And I know that it's taken a lot of, let's say, mud, sweat and tears to get to this stage. And I'd like to thank a number of people, um, not least the Russell Education Trust, and particularly Karen, who's sadly uh, not here, and Danny Lynch, Colin, our new CEO, our current CEO, to the Greek Orthodox Church, to Mary Cariolis, our Chair of Governors, and to other founding governors who are both here and not here, and to our current governing body. I'd also like to thank <coughs> the Department for Education, particularly Stiliosa Stilianu, I know this has been a project very close to his heart, to Barnet Council, and of course to Bauer and Kirkland, our fantastic contractors. Now, I don't intend to go on, although it's not as cold as it was, so uh, forgive me if I, I say a little bit more, but there's a saint who's, I think, particularly appropriate to think about today. Of course, St. Andrew, but also St. Thomas, because St. Thomas is the saint of building and architecture, but also, of course, of doubt. Thomas Didymos, um, which means twin in the Greek, perhaps because he had double amount of doubts of the other disciples. But we know that when Thomas saw and touched the wounds of the risen Christ, he was converted. And I know that many people, many people um, in the local community, and maybe even some people here today, have had doubts about this project. We've heard how important it is to the community and how close it is to all of your hearts, the furthering of Greek Orthodox education in Barnet. But many of you must have been thinking, is this going to ever materialise? It just seemed ever, ever on the vanishing on the horizon, but never quite there. But of course, in the background, there were lots of discussions, methodical planning with the council, with the contractor, with Coma Group. Of course, I'm glad are sharing with, this day, with us this day today. But it's fantastic to see the foundations finally going in place and uh, the piling going into the ground and that sports hall, first of all, and that magnificent school that we've all seen in the plans, growing into actual fruition like that. And one last thing, I was doing an assembly uh, this week, it was the week of Pentecost, which seems quite appropriate with all the wind uh, that was uh, out there. And we know that the apostles went out and spread the good news after that. They were charged with the Holy Spirit to do that. And I'm sure I don't have to say this because you're such big supporters, uh, but it's so important that we all go out, we put our fridge magnets on, but we also tell everyone in the community, it's happening, it's here, you're going to see it go up. We're so excited. Why not come and visit with your children, with the whole family? It's a fantastic new project. So thank you, all of you, for the part you're going to play in that as well. Thank you.
make one announcement, please? please do. We'll make arrangements so 10,000 pounds will come from the Archdiocese through the National Philanthropic Trust in support of the efforts here. That's um, wonderful to hear. Thank you so much. Refreshments are available. Thank you, everyone. Very nice.